when they say brooms up, that's when you go. We're gonna run straight down, and Dana over there, she's gonna slap that ball back. What's it called? A queef? Quaffle. Quaffle. This is called Ultimate Bucket List. We're all gonna choose items from our bucket list to determine what belongs on the ultimate bucket list. As in the list of things that everyone should try to do. Everyone. You're probably wondering why we look so sporty. Because today's episode is... Sports! 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 We're not competitive. I'm competitive. I'm competitive. Okay, I'm pretty competitive. So today we're here with... Dan. Jasmine. What do you like? Magic. What don't you like? Sports. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jasmine. What do you like? Winning! What don't you like? Losing. Oh. Choose something on your bucket list that might be sporty. I have chosen sumo wrestling. Are you worried? You guys don't look excited. Well, there's a lot going through my head. First of all, it's like physique. Secondly, looks pretty. And then third, clothing. Serious alarm bells going off about the whole. Torch balls. I'm concerned about the nappy, the, the diaper thing. My name's Andrew Freund, so we're here at a sumo dojo. We're gonna practice sumo today. That's okay, I can see you're pumped up. Yes! Hopefully in a short period of time you can learn a lot of skill, and we may have a surprise for you at the very end. Surprise? Wait. Oh yeah. Do we have to be like scared of this surprise? You should be scared regardless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Joke? I'm actually the multi-time US national champion, so you don't have to be big. So there's, there's hope for all of you, except for Dan. <laughs> Joke? I like him! Yes, thank you. I enjoy academic pursuits. I've never gotten in a fight in my life. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be very good at this. What are the rules of sumo wrestling? You wanna either push your opponent out of the ring or knock your opponent down so that any part of the body besides the soles of the feet touches. So if, if the knee goes down, you lose. You wanna either push your opponent down or out, and that's about it. It's interesting because it's like a physical sport, but you don't kick or punch. It's like strength, which isn't my strength. Can when? we talk quickly about the attire? So you're first here, Dan. Hold it there. Now spin, well, we would say a sumo belt or a loincloth. The Japanese word is mawashi. You could wear the mawashi over your shorts or tights or whatever. Ooh! Don't feel like I would scare anyone. If someone wants to see me in a dark alley, I don't. Well, they probably would run just because they'd see me dressed like this. So we'll do an abbreviated version of a practice. We're gonna do some of the basic warm-ups. Do some of the basic movements. Yeah. We'll do some light sparring. Light sparring. Uh -huh. Sparring. Exactly. So I'm gonna get in the ring. You know, I was okay with the warm-ups. I think I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna give this a shot. I think I can hold my own. I just have to, you know, be strong. <laughs> Stay on my feet. Because I gotta prove that I can be a sumo wrestler. <laughs> because I gotta prove that I can be a sumo wrestler. Oh my god! I didn't even know girls could do sumo wrestling. But here I am. I'm so excited! We have a really special surprise today. We're gonna bring out someone who spent most of his life in pro sumo. Let's meet my friend Hiroki. Hiroki! Oh. Hey guys, what's about? Oh. Who's. Koizo Amori name. I'm the best one, I think. Joke? He's over 500 pounds. Alright, who's first?
do more wrestling. Who knew we could sumo? I'm eight. so happy I chose that. <laughs> My one, it's baseball. Baseball. Baseball? But I know you guys grew up with it. As a foreigner, I didn't. <laughs> I've never thrown a ball, never swung a bat. I was so bad at baseball growing up. I, I played will seasons not. of baseball and never hit the ball. Oh, God. I was really bad. I won a home run away. Oh, there it is. You're making me want to run away. I was, I am petrified. Me to do too. This. Just take a swing at it. See what Ooh, you can. Okay. Yeah, but I don't want to be like you and strike out. Jasmine, do you have any to pitch? Unexpected. That was quite sly. Huh? Or should I say quite slide? <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> oh my god, get me out of this car. <laughs> I grew up seeing baseball movies. But they don't play baseball in England. Hi, I'm Dom Guerrero, a head groundskeeper for the Inland Empire 66ers. Do we look the part? You guys definitely look the part, especially you with your shirt tucked in. Taking wow. it seriously. Today I'll be teaching you guys how to hit, how to set yourself up. Set your bat here, and you're gonna wanna set up like this. When you see a pitch, you're gonna step, pivot, Dan seems very out of his comfort zone. So how fast are these balls coming at us? I'll try to sneak a few by in there. If my eight-year-old self could see me now, I, I'd be surprised. Jasmine said that they throw it at your head. So let's get to it. Yeah, let's do it. They're just very cool baseball players. That doesn't come naturally to English people. Let's play ball. Is that how they say it? Oh, they do? Yeah, they do. Okay, we're gonna play ball. Your eye on the ball. Straight in my head. I told you. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is really fun. Oh. Yeah, we're stretching. That's not stretching. I'm not ready for this. Am I ready to go, oh, Bernie? I'm yeah. out of breath. Woo! All right, let's do this. I just want to hit it, really. I just want to hit the ball once. I hope I hope I can do that. I'm feeling nervous, but this is my moment. This is my time. Eye on the ball. If my eight-year-old self could see me now... It's exhilarating! I'd be surprised. I'm so sorry, I totally underestimated you. I underestimated you too, though. Oh. <laughs> okay, what is on your list? You've been very smug about this. It's a little unconventional, but you've got to keep an open mind. Do you promise to keep an open mind? No yep. promises. So we are going to play Quidditch. <laughs> Wait, how? <laughs> You'll see. You'll what? see. What? I mean, if you don't know what Quidditch is, like, get ready to have your world rocked. Because <laughs> it is a game from Harry Potter where you fly around in a broom, you try and score oh a ball through these hoops, and you have to catch the golden snitch to win the game. I don't get how it's going to work. Are we flying? You promise to have an open mind. I didn't promise anything. No yeah. promises. Get ready. I'm not ready. Jasmine, I'm worried she's gonna make fun out of everyone. Okay, I'm crying already. I think that she's going to just be mocking me mercilessly. <laughs> I'm gonna take this quite seriously. It's interesting, it's... I brought a little Gryffindor touch of my own, representing... There's some interesting characters, or one of them was speaking parcel tongue. Oh. I'm a Gryffindor, I was in the movie. I mean, at the end of the day, I was in Gryffindor House. I've got to represent. I'm Lindsay Simpson. I'm the captain of the Lost Boys Quidditch Club. We're here in North Hollywood, California, and about to play a Quidditch game. This is on my bucket list, but like, how does it work here? We usually explain it as it's rugby meets ultimate frisbee meets dodgeball. All Positions. of those things are physical. This is a full contact sport. ACL tears, concussions, broken bones. <laughs> what have you done? Yeah. I'm kind of scared. Now. Don't be scared. Yeah, well, <laughs> we use PVC pipes or Peterson brooms. It stays between your legs at all times. Yeah. <laughs> 
the, oh, the well, run there. In the movie, the snitch is flying right. and they chase it. How does the snitch work when you're on the ground? So we're gonna have somebody wearing this really glorious pair of yellow shorts. On the back is the snitch tail. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. So each team has a seeker. I wanna be the seeker. It's my it's my decision, right? I, it's my bucket list. I get to choose what I want to do. And it's their goal to catch the snitch tail, and that earns them 30 points and ends the game. Wow, okay. I'm a seeker. Let's do this. So when they say brooms up, that's when you go. We're going to run straight down, and Dana over there, she's going to slap that ball back. What's it called? A queef? What? Quaffle. Quaffle. Dan's really into it as well. He's found his calling. They are going down. Are you ready? He'll be here every night now. Once a week for three hours, Dan will be here. I just scored. This is really hard. <laughs> she was unbelievable. Her accuracy and her power. I didn't have a chance. Yeah. This is so intense. I just sit down. It's a very complicated sport. Ball back, bring the ball back. So much going on. Jasmine's still out there, Dan quit. Not a shame. You, you were there for four minutes. minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's been like two hours. Big respect to Harry Potter, who did this in the sky. This game is all running. It is insane. The yellow ball that's hanging off the guy's butt. I gotta grab it. I gotta win this game. Two, one. The secrets are released. All right, here we go. Here we go. I never wanted something to end so badly. Oh, oh, oh no. What a Injury check. I got bruised by a baseball. You got bruised by a sumo wrestler. What happened to you? Uh, my hand hurts from batting. That's wow. it? We need to decide what belongs on the ultimate bucket list. Just because of how terrible I was at baseball as a kid, like I never made contact with the ball before. <gasps> oh, baseball was cool. Can we not talk about that mascot? I want to talk about Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> the sumo wrestling, even getting wrecked by that guy. <laughs> it was amazing. Quidditch, I laughed way too soon. Never laugh at Quidditch. That being said, I feel like sumo wrestling is a one in a lifetime experience. You can't top it. For the sake of the ultimate bucket list, I go sumo. Three sumo. Sumo, sumo, sumo. Sumo. I need an ice pack. Can I get an ice pack? Four. Four.